Hey gang, in this video, I'm gonna tell you about which certifications you need to get and which order you need to get them in. Hey gang, it's Ron from itmasterkey.com and my job is to help each and every one of you guys get certified. So a lot of times people get confused, scared, don't know what to do when it comes to the pathway of the certifications that they should get and which order they should actually get them, right? So should I get Security Plus first? Should I get A Plus first? Where should I go? What actually will lead me to what I'm trying to get, which is to get certified, right? Now, this is what I did and this is what I tell my students to do. Now there's a bunch of different other roadmaps, a bunch of different other ways that you can get this accomplished, but this is what's worked for me and my students. If you're doing something else that works for you, congratulations, I'm proud of you, maybe your mama's proud of you, but this is what I've done and this is what I've seen done and worked for other people. So for my students, the first thing that they do, the first certification that they get is something called ITF plus, IT fundamentals, right? Now for my guys and my girls, it takes them about two weeks to get certified in ITF plus. Side note, sidebar, caution, this is for my students. Some people it takes them a year or two to get certified. So don't put that on yourself, that it's gonna take you two weeks. If you're in the zero to zero program, cool, it should take you two weeks. Anything else, if you're doing stealth study, it may take you six months, it may take you a year, I'm not sure. But the first certification that I think that you should go over is ITF Plus. The ITF Plus is the fundamentals, right? It'll give you that foundational information. And it'll also show you if you wanna do this. It'll show you if you actually are interested in IT in general, because it has so many different topics, right? It's pretty much like A plus junior, A plus light, diet, A plus, right? So it actually will go over a lot of things as an A plus, just maybe don't go as in depth with A plus, right? Now, I will be honest, the ITF plus is for educational purposes only. Nine times out of 10, 10 times out of 10, you probably won't land a job because you got ITF plus. ITF plus isn't necessarily one of those certifications that uh, employers are looking for. So you're probably wondering, Rob, why the hell are you telling us to get this? Good question. The reason I'm telling y'all to get this is because what I found is as soon as they get ITF plus, pass A plus at a much higher rate. My students who got ITF plus first, they end up passing A plus on their first try more often than not, as opposed to just going for A plus first. Because for quite a while, we always started off with A plus, then I added ITF plus to the program, and I noticed that the A plus certifications actually skyrocket. So, since we were talking about A plus, A plus is going to be the first certification that can land your role, that can actually get you into IT. So ITF plus is educational only, a plus, it can actually get you a gig, right? So the A plus is a bunch of stuff too. Just a bunch of tech stuff in two different exams. When I say it's a little bit of everything, it's a little bit of everything. Got a little bit of coding on there, got some hardware, got some software, got some cloud stuff, got some virtualization stuff, got some AI stuff, got some automation stuff, got a bunch of different topics all rolled into two different exams. Then like I said, the great thing about the A plus is that it'll give you an even stronger foundation and it'll actually land you a job, right? With A plus employers are actually like, oh, okay, uh, we can actually give this guy or this girl a chance in our organization. After that, my guys and my girls go after something called network plus, right? So network plus is a networking specific certification. So it's direct competition will probably be the CCNA, so it's Network Plus or CCNA. Most people that are looking to get into networking look at one or two of these certifications to see if they want to be in networking. And if they do want to be in networking, they either specialize with the Network Plus or the CCNA. If you want to, you can actually watch a video on our channel where I compare the CCNA to the Network Plus and which one I will go after. The Zero to Hero program includes the Network Plus. Now, the way we actually sequence the certifications is because 
everything that's an ICF plus and everything that's an A plus is going to be covered on network plus, right? So the way that the network plus is given or the way that it's actually proctored, the way that it's set up is that you should already know everything that's on the prior certifications, right? So if you actually already have those certifications, you have the knowledge, you have the skill sets, and you actually have taken a CompTIA exam before, so you actually know what the setup is like. Because a lot of times what's scary for people, what throws people off is that the way the CompTIA exams are set up, right? Sometimes it just gets scary. People fail because they're not used to the way that the CompTIA certifications are set up. So they end up failing the exam just from having exam jitters. So if you want to be super prepared for the exam, make sure that you hit the link in the description and go to itmasterkey.com and enroll into the Zero to Hero program. And you actually will get all of the certification that is talked about in this video. You'll get some Microsoft training and you'll get live training every week. Basically, you can't beat it. We got thousands of students, a bunch of reviews. So go ahead and head over there and enroll inside of the Zero to Hero program so we can get you certified. All right, gang. So last but not least is the Security Plus. So a lot of times people try to skip all the other certifications and go directly for the Security Plus. Now, can you skip those and get the Security Plus? Yep. There's a bunch of people passing and getting the, I shouldn't say a bunch, but there are some people passing, uh, you know, by skipping the other ones and going straight for security plus. Would I recommend that? No, because a lot of times what I found is if somehow by luck, a miracle, whatever, you pass security plus, you still don't have all the fundamentals that you need. Cause there's a, cause I've noticed that a lot of people will get security plus and can't find a job or feel still feel lost. I feel like if they would have got those other certifications and kind of shored up those other areas in IT and in those certifications, they would feel a lot more comfortable in interviews and on the job, right? So the way that we set up the program through Master IT is that you get everything. So you get ITF Plus, then you get A Plus, which is a little bit of everything, and then you get that specialized training in Network Plus, which is super important. You have to know how a network is set up. You have to know how everything works from the user all the way to the endpoint. Literally every business, every website, everything is connected to the internet. So you have to have an intimate relationship and understanding of the way that the networks are set up. Now, Security Plus is hyper focused on cybersecurity, which is super important for any organization. And if you get A plus, Net plus, and Security Plus, it literally can open up a bunch of different doors, private sector, public sector, working for the government, whatever you want to do is possible. Now you still got to network, you still got to cross the interview, you still got to have a solid resume, but it just gives you so many different opportunities. And that's one of the reasons why that's the roadmap that I use when I was in the trenches trying to go up the ladder when it comes to tech. And that's the same roadmap that I give my students to give them the best opportunity when it comes to not only being in tech, but elevating in tech, right? So a brief review, ICF Plus first, then A Plus, then Net Plus, then Security Plus. Do me a favor, make sure that you watch my last video that can show you how not to only get certified, but to level up in IT. Other than that, I'll see you in class.